Hi, I'm Vicki Hefner, Education Curator at the Berks History Center, and right now we're in the Joseph Heaster room on the second floor of our museum. Joseph Heaster was born in an important year for Berks County. He was born in 1752, which is the same year that Berks County was formed. Uh, he would serve during the American Revolution, and eventually he would become governor of Pennsylvania around 1820. The furnishings that you see in this room may not have belonged to Joseph Heaster himself, but they were uh, belonged to Heaster family members. For example, the chairs that you see. Uh, this is a beautiful table. This is called a birdcage table. And if you look underneath, you can see there is a birdcage-like thing underneath, which makes it very interesting. This uh, parlor, the woodwork that you see came from Joseph Heaster's ancestral home, which today uh, would be below the waters of Blue Marsh Dam. So in the 1970s, the Berks History Center asked to remove the woodwork that you see and recreated a parlor. And uh, the fireplace, uh, a lot of times you see very large open hearth fireplaces. Uh, this is uh, obviously not an open hearth. The open hearth fireplaces were for cooking the meals. This is a fireplace designed to keep this room warm so it's not as deep, not as big. It also has in the back a beautiful 1785 iron back. Uh, what would happen is that piece of uh, that fire back would get heated with the fire uh, on the inside there and then once the fire died out during the night, the uh, piece of iron would stay warm and keep the room warmer than it normally would be once the fire uh, went out. We also have a portrait here of Joseph Heaster's second wife, Elizabeth Heaster, which I just recently learned that Elizabeth is his second wife. We'll have to do some research to see who his first wife was. And then on the opposite wall is Joseph and Elizabeth Heaster's daughter. Uh, we're not sure if it is Mary Elizabeth or Rebecca, uh, but we do have these beautiful portraits here on display in our Joseph Heaster room. And in honor of Women's History Month, recently we posted uh, a, a sewing object that either Elizabeth or Rebecca made. The notations we have in our collection is that it was made by Elizabeth, uh, but it's uh, certainly a very nice piece of tapestry.